Well, I, we we me and my wife right now we we track his phone, and his phone is showing up out here in a uh, bad area. It's showing up in Spring Valley Apartments here in Southwest Little Rock, and t at twelve he has. He has no reason to be out there, but he does have a history of running away. So that's why we up two o'clock in the morning trying to figure it out. Um, we sent a text message to the wife, but of course, you know, they probably sleep or whatever. And we're just trying to figure out how the report been made. That way we know if we should get Little Rock police involved to try to have them to knock on some doors at this uh, apartment building where his phone is actually um, showing the location for him. But we can't reach, we can't reach the adults. Uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay, that is my stepdaughter, stepson, his dad, and his wife. And Well, the the phone the phone is to the twelve year old. That's Carter. That's the steps. Yeah. I'm uh my that's my wife's biological kid. So you know I'm stepdad. Yes, 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 yes. What does something have to do with, like, if you shot the rope, this and shot a reporter or one away? Well, no, nah, he's trying, you know, some people, some people be doing some real underhanded shit. Yeah. So he's just trying to find out, like, how we know the family, because I could be the person that got it. You yeah. know what I mean, type shit. So he's just trying to figure that out. Because it's, yes. Okay, what is, okay, what is your last name? Thompson. It's what? Thompson. Thompson, what is your first name? James. Right, James. What we're going to be able to do right now with us not knowing for certain if the juvenile is actually in Southwest Little Rock or if it's just his phone. Yes. What we can do is we can send, hold on, I've got to put you on hold. I need to answer number one, okay? Gotcha. You ain't got to do a welfare check of his ass. Sorry about that. It was a hang up. What we can do is we can send an officer over to this address on Ruger and see if the juvenile is there. Yes. And do a welfare check. Yes, sir. Um, knock on the door. Hopefully, somebody answers the door and, and see if the child is there and check welfare of the child. Okay. Um, at that point, if they realize that he's missing, then we can enter him. You know, depending on what the officer says, or you know, maybe the officer said or the parents say, "Hey, we knew he's staying the night at so and so." You know, maybe. We don't know what the... Can I answer? I'm still public serving the caller. It's going to be a welfare check at this point.
maybe go from there. Do you know who the child would be with in Southwest Little Rock? I know, clue. That's what that's what we that's what panicked us when I looked at it. That's that's what caused the that's what caused the alarm and alert. You know what I mean? Because normally when they're at home, you know the phones might be dead or stuff like that. You know what I mean? I'm I'm not trying to have a tangled web or any. I'm not trying to have a tangled web or any conflict or nothing like that. You know. It's, it's just that if I noticed it. Stand by. I'm still in public service with the caller. He'll give me a moment. I'll give you a twenty-one. What is the juvenile's name? Carter Slayton. S L A Y T O N. Without it's, a Y. It's without a Y. Okay. Possibly from this twenty two Ruger Drive in Ward. Austin. Yes. That should be out showing in Austin. Yeah, it's showing to be an Austin address, but it's inside the city of Ward. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, what is what is Carter's date of birth? Uh, what is it? October. No. Nine eight. Nine eight. Oh eight. Oh eight. Okay. What is the phone number that he has that you're? Hold on real quick, let me get it. It's 501. 501. 464. Let me look me, it up. Me, and, me and mom are looking it up now. Oh, it is 646-501-646-6536. And you said it's the biological father that lives at this address? Yes, sir. Him and uh, his wife. Okay. What is the biological father's name? Christopher Slayton. And the stepmom? Uh, Iris Slayton. I think it's I R I S. Um, do you know what type of vehicle they drive or anything? I don't know if they have a car garage or... It, it should be a silver F-150 and a black Chevy, maybe a Traverse. And I think the stepfather works at, what's that, Hillsboro, the heating and air unit. I mean, a heating and air company for out that way with the white van with the green letters. I think that's what, I think that's what the name of it is. Like I said, I didn't... You know, I didn't want any conflict or anything, but when you see something out of the ordinary dealing with children, it's like, you know. If he has ran away before, though. Yeah, if he, if he never ran away before, right. you know. So hopefully when y'all go out there, he don't think I'm picking on him, but this something worth picking, so you know how that goes. And if he had ran away before, like, rode in a car with somebody before. Yeah, yeah, try to ride his bike away and some more stuff. So, like I said, and I know Southwest Little Rock, that's not a place for okay. Okay, can I leave you my number to, that way if they if he's not there, that way somebody can contact me and I can get Little Rock fired up in that direction? Well, at that point, we will notify Little Rock. Oh. 
Okay, I, I can give you... Absolutely, I can have I can have the I can have the officer call you. Is this a good callback number? 501-319-2461? Yes, sir. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the officer head over there, and then we'll go from there, okay? Okay, hey, man, I appreciate it. We just want to be at a rest if all is well. Hey, I'm doing all right. How you doing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, to the door. Okay. Um, is it possible that they're hanging out with friends or anything like that? Not, not that I know of, because most of their friends they they spent their life out in Cabot, and the only time they come to Little Rock is to you know do visitation with me and my wife, and we uh -huh. we don't we don't have any friends ourselves. You know what I mean? So that's I'm a I'm a truck driver. So when I was coming in town, I told my wife, I said, Hey, I see the kids are at home, you know, because that's kind of what we do, and uh -huh. I dropped a load off in Cersei, and I double checked it again on my way home. And when I double checked at that time, it showed out here in Southwest Little Rock in Spring Valley Apartments. And I was like, wait a minute. I said, Bay, hold up. I said, Carter phone is showing in Southwest Little Rock. I said, is everything okay? And she was like, it shouldn't be out there if you just saw it at the house. And you know, from Cersei to here is like a maybe, what, an hour and a half uh, round trip. Right, right. And, and so I was like. Can you, can you, I mean, I, I don't mean to ask you dumb questions mm -hmm. here. Have you tried to call the phone? Yes. Yeah, we tried to call it, go straight to voicemail, but it's still powered up enough to let me uh, find it. my iPhone. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. And so that's, what about, I mean, what, is this your ex-wife or is this uh, your, is this your, Wife's ex-husband, or who am I dealing with? <laughs> Twenty-two Ruger. Uh, Twenty-two Ruger is uh, dad and his wife, and me and mom. We we are married. You know what I mean. So they they are their kids before marriage, and we do the visitation. So when this week's visitation is coming up, you know I just want to make sure he was safe because there's no uh, I'm grown. And I'm from Little Rock, and I don't even go in, South, in, in Spring Valley apartments myself. That's that's right, bad, right. bad. And he had run right. away before. Right. I, I understand your concern. I just, man, I'm a little hesitant to put out any kind of a missing child or anything right now until we can get a hold of the other side of, of mom and dad. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and I I totally understand that. You know, what I mean, that's what that's uh, that's but, why. I, but, I, but I'm a dad and a grandpa myself, so I, I understand. You. Turn. Yes, sir. Uh, let's let's do this. And it being the time of morning, it is. Let's uh, let's just hold off. You know, let's let's look about eight o'clock in the morning or so and see what 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 we're at where we're at then. Okay. And um, that that would be my suggestion as of right now. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, I wouldn't get too worked up right now. I mean, because honestly, that find my phone thing and all that stuff. I mean, man, I got a lot of those apps on my phone to track, you know, my kids and the gang kids and this and that and other. And, and a lot of times, you know, those things ping off of different towers and everything like that. So I wouldn't let it get me too worked up just yet. So. Um, because even like my wife, I have it on her, and, and sometimes it'll show that that she's. I know this is a big, a big, a big difference, but it will show that she's ten miles from where she's really at. And I've even called her, and be like, "No, you're lying. I can tell where she's <laughs> at." And she'll send me a picture of where she's at, and I'm like, "Oh, okay." Right. So, I mean, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't let him get me worked up just yet. Okay. Um. Yeah, like I said, he with him having that history, 
of actually running away and trying to get away and all of that, that's that's one of the big things because, you know, at one point in time when he ran away, he, he actually did get in a car with a stranger, but they didn't do any harm to him. Okay. You know, okay. so. I, I, I didn't know that. Nobody told me that. Yeah, see, we, we didn't know it either because a lot of this, with, dealing with the whole custody thing, things like this that may have happened or might have happened, we we won't know it because then somebody thinks, oh, well, they're going to run that back to court. And it's not really right now. It's not a court issue. It's, a, it's making sure he's him. straight, you know, because nothing's, right, nothing's right, good right. is going to happen to him out here in Southwest, you know. Right, right. Yeah, he has run away um, three or four times. Well, man, that, that, I think I think if we were holding off till about eight in the morning, let's just kind of see where we're at then. Uh, make no hesitation. If you haven't got a hold of him by then, call back. We'll get we'll get a we'll get a missing you know a missing bolo going. Okay. And um, I mean you know we'll just have to deal with it now. We have to deal with it at that point. All right, now, would it, you want me to call you back at 8 o'clock, or would it be somebody else? No, it'll be somebody else. You'll probably, uh, you'll talk to a different officer, but it'll probably go to RCID. Yeah, and they'll them. be the ones that'll get that up and going. Okay, would I need, a, a like, a report number or anything like that? No, because I'm not going to report it yet. I mean, if I report it, I have to report him as a missing runaway juvenile right now. Okay. And and what I'm saying is, is I'm hoping maybe let's give this a little bit of time and maybe this thing will reboot and it's not really all the way down there or something like that. Okay. Okay. Um, that, that's 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 more along my my train of thought right at the moment. Okay. Because I mean they they living in a nice neighborhood up there. And, yeah. You know, I mean it, it, it's a nice neighborhood and not much goes on around here. You know. Right. And so, you know, at 12 years old, I just don't know who in the devil he could have got a hold of to come get him to come get, you know, all the way to Southwest Little Rock. But, you know, that's, so that's why I'm kind of, you know, do you have mom, dad's number? Because I've been over there, I mean, I've, I beat on the door until I thought I was going to break the glass trying to get them up, and I couldn't get nobody up. So that's why I'm wondering if they ain't all together or something like that. Uh, none of their cars are out here. Though. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't see none of the adult cars out here in the uh, apartment complex here in Southwest. But I do have. Uh, I have Dad's number, I believe. Yeah, yeah, and her number. We, uh, my wife is trying to get a hold of If you've got Dad's number, let me have it. I'll try to get a hold of him. Okay. She, my wife is looking it up now. Okay. See where it's for Hildenburg? Yes. Okay. And the Hildenburg yes. truck was sitting in the front. And we have uh, one other number just in case. Okay. It's 501. Uh huh. 606. 606. 1982. Uh -huh. And yeah, we got the wife number. Okay. Let me see if I can get in touch with anybody on them two numbers. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a call back. Okay. Hey. I got a hold of your wife, right? No. Your ex-wife. No, 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 his no, wife. No, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm sorry, man. I, I keep getting this mixed up. It, it is really I easy to do. I talked to the stepmother, uh -huh. and she said that he is staying the night with her sister because both of them have to work tomorrow, and he's going to be out of school. Okay, so he is in Southwest. Okay. Uh, he, he is up there spending the night with her sister. Okay. Well, man. And what apartment? I, I just, this is, but they are at the Spring Valley apartment that I tracked them to then. 
wherever she lives. Now, she didn't tell me where she lives. I just said Southwest Little Rock, and she said yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, man, hey, I, I greatly appreciate that. You know, that I'm glad I had a worry because we would have never knew that he was never in 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 uh, Austin, you know what I mean? Because we stay here in Little Rock. He could have came to our house. Yeah, because it was like 12 o'clock at night yeah. when they came and got him. So yeah, didn't nobody... it, yeah, it was midnight when his phone moved. So, you know, I'm like, hey, all I can envision was him on a bicycle with a stick and a, and a blanket tied at the end. <laughs> right, right, right. Hey, man, I understand. Like I said, I'm a dad. I'm a grandpa. I understand. But uh, anyhow, uh, so everything's cool. I mean, y'all, y'all, it, if y'all can get together tomorrow and get all y'all stuff worked out however y'all need to, everything's supposed to be cool for the night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At least we know he's safe, so that's that's the main concern. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, safe so safe and shit. All right. Hey. All right, brother. Well, y'all have a good night. All right. You too, now. Uh-huh.